It's time for the Chip Race. Next up, Darren, I are delighted to welcome to the studio one of our great pals and fellow Unibet Poker Ambassador. He also happens to be another Irish Open champion, the 2013 winner, Ian Simpson. Okay, Ian, first question. You burst onto the poker scene in October 2009 when you won £93 in a £56 Dust Till Dawn tournament. Burst onto the scene. Queuing at the cage, waiting to collect your min cash that day, did you realise you were destined to have a brief career in poker? No. No clue? Not a Scooby-Doo. Hadn't a clue what was about to happen? No, not a Scooby-Doo. Had the dream, but, you know, it was, I, I always figured it was an unrealistic dream. Well, it turned out to be not so unrealistic. You won the Irish Open the following year, and I think that's where Darren and I first met you. Yeah, the first time I became aware of Ian um, was actually when one of my female friends screamed in horror, look what that Egypt is doing to that poor girl. And there you were down on one knee proposing to your girlfriend on a live stream. Were you that convinced she'd say no if you didn't do it in, if you did it in private? Okay, my brother-in-law had the best quote on this. He was like, "The Irish Open was up in the air, but Ian proposing was always a sure thing." He said, "I could have proposed with a cheerio, and she still would have said yes." And were you still going to do it even if you came second or third? Just like wreck the heads up for the other lads and I just go, "Okay, oh, sorry, lads, this is my moment." I was going to do it wherever I finished on the final table. Uh, I'd, 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 I'd even sort of pick the spot where the cameras would catch me. But in hindsight, if I came second... You come second, exactly. How fucking awkward. I'm just like, yeah, no, this is my limelight. Get out, get out of the way. Yeah. That would be so bad. Yeah, just getting in the way of the winner's yeah. photo. Yeah. Could have been, would have been good, uh, good material for the videos. So it would have been a good laugh, wouldn't it? Mm. Do you think Emma was impressed with the way you did it? She had no idea it was coming, which was kind of important. And how did she feel about it afterwards? Uh, we are married. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it's because you proposed it's because or despite, though? So I am on here just to be trolled. No, <laughs> Emma. Uh, no, no. Emma spe- this question <laughs> came in from Emma. Oh, really? I'm just, yeah, yeah, this was <laughs> in, in my notes, yeah. I think she's happy. Well, look, joking aside, you have an amazing record in the Irish Open, one that we are all kind of sickened by, I think. I think Irish people collectively fairly sickened by the amount of money you took out of our community over yeah, two yeah, years. That's, that's popular opinion, yeah. Yeah, that, w- that had to have been an amazing experience, though. You, you, you arrived in there as a, a qualifier, won the sole survivor the first year. That's the one. And then came back next year, went yeah. one better? Three spots better. Came you, fourth and first. Do you feel bad? No. Do you no, yeah. feel bad feel at all? really good. All of our money. Like, Dara, you know, <laughs> how many years have we played the Irish Open? Uh, we played the Irish Open, I think, eight years, and I don't think either of us have ever cashed. No, nope. that's exactly right. <laughs> yeah. So I've got, I've got, like, the collective total of all of our, you know, what would be rightful cashes all ming- mingled into my hand mob. Mm. And, and in addition to draining so much money out of the Irish poker community, do you think you're not, like, when you pretend to be Irish, which you do quite a lot, are you not just adding insult <laughs> to injury? When have I pretended to be Irish? On a recent podcast appearance. Listen, 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 that was their mistake. I corrected them. Okay. okay. You do wear green a lot. That's because I work for Unibet. Ah, I see. And they're all about uh, the green. But so even w- working back in the sponsor. What a pro. Ah, I'm good, aren't I? I also ran into you a few times in Vegas uh, over the years uh, at the World Series. Um, I'm not sure you ever actually played an event, though. Uh, actually, no, sorry, there was that one time uh, I met you in the Rio. You'd come in to play, but I, I think you said you were tired that day and you went home to, you went back to your bed. Um, how do you maintain such a ferocious work ethic on the road? Naps. Naps are good for the work ethic. If you're tired, don't play. If you, if you, if you go to the Rio, play the whatever the hell competition's on, and then you're tired, Go nap. Mm. It's always games in Vegas. Naps are good for the bankroll. At least 80% of your Twitter feed is pictures of you photographed napping with your cats. That's fine by me. Yeah, yeah I'm good that, with that. That's okay. If you've ever napped with a cat, it's the most blissful experience in the world. They keep your feet warm. I get cold feet and the cats curl up on them. It's lovely. <laughs> Ian, look, the handful of people who follow you will notice that one of your quirks is referring to yourself <laughs> in the third person <laughs> as Eni. God Don't know if anyone out there has heard it, but he always calls himself Eni. This is one of the hallmarks of NPD, or uh, Narcissistic Personality Disorder. Uh, according to the Mayo Clinic, I've done my research here, people with this disorder also display arrogance, a sense of superiority, and power-seeking behaviour. Which of those three traits do you feel has helped you most at the poker table? <laughs> You're right, Dick, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> You've actually t- t- just, just pigeonholed me into being a narcissist. Well, you do call yourself Eni. I do, because everyone called me Eni. Oh, no, but you refer to yourself as Eni in the third person. It's not like a nickname that everyone else uses. Well, you know what? If you want to call me a narcissist, if you want to call me arrogant... If, if, if you want to call Eni a narcissist, if you want to call <laughs> Eni arrogant, 
you you had to hold that back. I know you wanted to say that. I really did, yeah. Um, what, what were the three traits? Um, arrogance, arrogance, a sense of superiority, and okay. power-seeking behavior. They probably are quite good poker traits, to be fair. Well, no, I, I don't think arrogance is because um, you really need to be able to take feedback from your peers because humans are notoriously terrible at finding their own mistakes. So, an arrogant people tend not to take criticism from others. So I think it's really important. I can't believe we've gone down a sensible path, by the way. But I think it's really important to be able to take criticism from your peers to improve your game. Okay. Well, look, to, to stay on that sensible path, uh, that narcissism now extends to you believing that people have nothing better to do than watching you play poker when you're at home. So can you talk us through your new Twitch stream? Uh, yeah. So I'm going to be twitching uh, four times a week, at least 20 hours a week. And... Um, <laughs> How the fuck do I respond to that? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. If people find me a little bit entertaining, then that's great. And they can come watch. I find you very entertaining. Well, yeah. Just, to, you, be, you just get to be a, clear. You get a sick pleasure. You've actually you've got a, a phone in front of you with just paragraphs of different ways to troll me on this little podcast. Well, as you might remember, Ian, three weeks ago, you fat shamed me in front of people I knew. And I pledged that moment that I was going to write at least 30 questions to grill you when you were next on the podcast or I so next had a chance. So only have to question like four, right? So we are, yeah, this is going to be a long podcast. Uh, Ian, seriously though, you're, you're a pair everyone loves to have at the table. Um. <laughs> 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 it's a good job I've got a sense of humor. It really is. In, in Killarney last year, I got dealt a monster in the small blind uh, when you went to big blind and it was folded around to me. Uh, you only had 20 big blinds at the time in the big blind hand and my first thought was I don't want to shove and just have Eni fold. My second thought was it'll look even more suspicious if I min raise given the stacks. My third thought was well this is Eni so I did min raise. Uh, could you explain to the listeners what you were thinking in the milliseconds between you looked at your garbage hand and you announced all in? I do not remember this hand. What was the garbage hand? It was like jack four all Get or something. Get the fuck out of here. That never happened. I wish you wouldn't make things up, and you shouldn't min-raise. I outdrew you, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry? I outdrew you. No, right? no, I knocked you out. You knocked me out? I don't remember this. You've made this up. I've never been to This was the WPT. Which t oh, that one? Do yeah. you knock me out of the, that? The one I final tabled. Oh, yeah. Was that when you final tabled two at a time? Yeah. So not only yeah. have you worked in an Eni troll, you've worked in a thin brag of hitting two final tables simultaneously you, live. You brought it up. Okay, well, I think what we've established there is that Obviously, and you're a bit of a maniac on the table, and, that, and no, I mean, in a good way because you know, for years and years, your hallmark was that you played really loose. I remember the first time I met you, you said you got to play the street. So you know, when you had to make that adjustment then from live, where I think that strategy actually worked for you really well for a few years, and you had to bring it to an online arena. I remember you saying, "Okay, look, I'm getting found out now. I can't play forty percent of hands and never fold to a three bet. I have to actually knuckle down, learn some fundamentals, and 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 play like solid poker." What was it? No, but sorry, and I don't mean to cut across you because I know I half asked a question there. But that genuinely must have been a difficult adjustment coming from somebody who was obviously entertained by playing so many hands themselves. <laughs> it's hard to answer a question when I'm being trolled mercilessly. But yes, it is indeed a big adjustment because I would play very loose aggressive live and you can't do that online because it's so easy just to click the call button. Live, um, one of the big exploits of playing loose aggressive is that when someone's knocked out, they're out of the game. It's not like they can just double click and play another competition. Um, so the tournament life means a lot more. Ian, I don't want to let you go without being nice to you a little bit and, and maybe even letting you have a proper plug. We mentioned Twitch earlier. I know it's kind of your new thing now. I think you're going to be on, what, three or four nights a week? Four nights a week at least. Four nights a week at least. You do drink copiously throughout those Twitches, so they are oh, very, everyone. very entertaining. <laughs> very entertaining for, pe for people listening here. I really do recommend tuning in. Uh, you won't learn much about poker, but you will have a great time with Ian and his sort of, uh, you know, rock anthems from the 1970s and 80s. I do, rock I do have a rocking playlist. Yeah, I think I, th I think actually Ian is brilliant on uh, Twitch. He's just a natural entertainer. Um, he's, he's really fun to watch, regardless of the poker. You, you do realize I don't know to balance out the mean, nice range. You're going to have to say a lot more nice things through the duration of this weekend to make up for this Well, we, we, we went into this thinking, well, like, will we go good cop, good cop, bad cop? But then we decided we know we'll go bad cop, worse cop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you both want to troll Ian. That's fine. I understand. Yeah. Do you want us to say something nice before you go? Yeah. Well, I'd love to, but unfortunately we're out of time. <laughs>